I appreciate that. My district, which is part of Memphis and then uh, West Tennessee, has a large ag component. Uh, in fact, it's the largest uh, ag district in the state of Tennessee. I hear from a lot of my farmers about tariffs and the impacts of tariffs. And I'm characterizing, but generally, uh, uh, the, the farmers are supportive of the president. They're willing to endure short-term pain for longer-term gain. That's generally, that's not everybody, but generally. If you were a member of Congress representing an agriculture district, what would you tell farmers about tariffs and, and, and what the potential impacts and, and hopefully the potential uh, positive effects that they may have? Well, I can assure you the president uh, is very focused on the agriculture community and the farmers specifically. We talk about it uh, almost weekly. Sonny Perdue participates in our trade meetings and represents the farmers in those meetings. Uh, I think the good news is, it, as it relates to lifting some of these tariffs with Mexico, that will help the farmers substantially in terms of trade with Mexico and reciprocal issues. Uh, and it relates to China. Uh, if we can get a good deal, it will also be very good for the farmers. I think, you know, as unfortunately, we were on track for that and we've gone backwards. Uh, the President and Secretary Purdue are looking at various different programs to make sure as we take in tariffs, we can use some of that money to support the farmers. So I can assure you the President is very focused on this. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And I yield back my re remaining time. Thank you. The gentleman from Utah, Mr. McAdams.